pedestrian struck and critically injured after his car broke down along a local freeway. And police say the driver of the car who hit him was under the influence. This happened at the I-84, I-205 interchange. Valina Jones spoke to the victim's daughter tonight. And what is she telling you, Valina? Jeff, Danielle James is just heartbroken tonight. Her father has been here at Emanuel since yesterday, undergoing multiple surgeries, and he still has a long road to go. Just why, man? Just don't do it. It's more than just you. That's what Danielle James wants to know as her 60-year-old father lays in a hospital bed. We're just waiting right now. It's scary. It's heartbreaking. You know, my feelings hurt for him. Um, it's one of those things where we just wait and see. Her father was driving on I-84 East on his way to work Tuesday night when his tire blew out. He pulled over on the 205 off ramp and got out of his car to get to safety when another car hit him. Police say the driver was under the influence. I could have lost my dad. And he chose to be out there like that. James says her father suffered a broken leg, pelvis, injured shoulder, and damages to his stomach. Police described his injuries as life-threatening. He was explaining that he was in a lot of pain, um, that he was very scared. 29-year-old Emmanuel Gonzalez Correa, the driver, was arrested on scene for DUII. But there's a whole world out there with other people walking, driving, biking, um, and things like that around you. Um, and, and it's just really hard to take that in, that someone chose to not take that into consideration. As her father remains in and out of surgery. It hurts because my dad is everything. Definitely a daddy's girl. James is glad. He's a strong man. Still has someone to call dad. I'm blessed that he's still here. Now that driver is facing DUII, reckless driving, and assault charges, a GoFundMe account has been set up for medical expenses to help the victim. And all of this, again, he is undergoing multiple surgeries and continues to be going through surgeries tonight. Reporting live in North Portland, Valina Jones, Coin 6 News. And we wish him a good recovery, hopefully. Valina, thank you.